and this is the Mark 10 and this is uh, driven by Don Tyrrell and this is the car that Jaguar had to epitomise grace, space and pace. When the Mark 10 came to the market in November 1961, this was the first of the new type of Jaguar. The Mark 10 employed a monocoque construction. In fact, also, so did these, the uh, Mark 1 from the late 50s. Now, monocoque, translated from the French, means single shell. And the monocoque principle had been applied to aircraft design in an attempt to combine the greatest possible strength with the lightest possible weight. The Mark 10 was the largest Jaguar saloon ever made particularly, I imagine, for the American market. The total number of Mark 10 cars made was in right-hand drive only just over 9,000, and in left-hand drive, 3,800. The total number of Mark 10s and 420Gs, which is a model which followed the Mark 10 to the end of 1969, was 25,000. Not bad for a car that barely changed shape and concept in those eight years. The theme for the Mark 10 was good taste and correctness. Jaguar offered a four-speed gearbox with overdrive or a fully automatic transmission. The driver was presented with adjustable steering wheel, power steering, four disc brakes, independent front and rear brake systems along with front and rear brake brake fluid warning lights, a Jaguar exclusive. It had independent front and rear suspension, which gave the passengers a very smooth but stable ride. The engine, a 3.8 litre XK Jaguar design. Three SU carburetors, aluminium heads, pistons and a cast iron block. The engine, in fact, was very similar to the one used in the E-Type. And amazingly enough, a car of this size and weight had a top speed of 122 miles per hour and could run from 0 to 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometres an hour in 10.4 seconds. And like the E-Type, the Mark 10 acquired the 4.2 litre engine and the Synchromes gearbox for manual versions in 1964. So this is Don Tyrrell's Mark 10. Thanks, Don.